Hey guys, this is Anthony with Airstream of DFW coming to you from our 45,000 square foot indoor showroom. Today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite trailers, the new 2020 Globetrotter 23FB. This trailer is, is pretty unique in that uh, for years the 23FB has not come with a, a twin bed option, but this particular model does. So that's something real exciting for us. Uh, with that twin bed option, uh, you're going to notice there's a little bit more storage on the outside uh, in comparison to your, to your standard 23FB. Um, this unit is 23 foot 9 inches long front to back. It's just a little under 5,500 pounds dry, uh, 6,300 pounds gross. So it's a little heavier than your Flying Clouds or your Internationals. Um, we'll see some of the reasons why when we step inside. Uh, lots of great features on the outside come standard on this model. Uh, you're going to get the power awning. Uh, you're going to get the full awning, window awning package on the uh, back and the off door side. Uh, you're also going to get a backup camera. Uh, it is a dual axle trailer, so um, if you, uh, you want to move towards, uh, away from the single axle and towards the dual axle, um, this is a way to do it and still stay, stay in a small trailer because it's still only eight foot wide. So let's step, take a step inside and take a look around. All right, guys, when you step inside, the first thing you're going to notice is the big rear bathroom. One of the great things about the 23 foot F, 23 FB is going to be that the bathroom's on the back. So even though we're in a small trailer, we're still getting a really large bathroom. Glass shower door, that's one of the great things about the Globe Trotter. You don't have that kind of accordion plastic door that you get in some of the other trailers. Lots of storage in the bathroom. Lots of great light in the bathroom too. So um, a lot of times when you step back in the bathroom, it kind of feels like you're in a cave. But in this model, uh, you've got lots of light. A porcelain stool. Uh, no, no plastic toilets. Uh, a lot of times if you've had RVs in the past and you've had to deal with the, the plastic toilet situation, it's not always the best. So with the porcelain toilet, a lot easier to clean, a lot easier to maintain, and it just looks a lot better. Um, lots of countertop space in here, again, because we're in a, in a, in a rear bathroom model, uh, we're getting a lot of extra space in the bathroom that we don't normally get, even in some of the bigger trailers. So now let's step back and take a look at the kitchen. All right, guys, we're inside the kitchen now, and, and one of the unique things about the Globe Trailer that kind of separates it from the other lines out there is the, the styling of, of the trailer. So uh, when Airstream was, was designing this trailer, the idea behind it was, let's bring the iconic Airstream curves to the inside of the trailer. So you're gonna notice a lot of curving on the inside from the cabinets to the walls, to the dinette, uh, even to the front of the fridge you'll see in a minute. Uh, couple of uh, some really nice accent lighting on the globe trailer that you don't get on the other trailers as well as lights on the inside of the cabinets so when you open the cabinets up you can see on the inside even if you don't have any lights on and for all those people that are vertically challenged they put mirrors in the back here too which is kind of nice so you can see what's down inside the cabinet now this kitchen even though it's a small kitchen it really is not small on storage you've got a sliding pantry back here in the back that we've talked about uh, in other videos it's a great place for uh, canned goods, um, those, those boxed items you want to take. Um, can store a lot of stuff and a little bit of space. Nice, smooth, solid surface countertops in the Globe Trotter. Uh, again, no uh, all residential style fixtures in the Globe Trotter, just like all the other Airstreams. Single bowl sink, it's nice and deep. But something they do that's unique to the Globe Trotter is going to be this extra space over here that you can use for either a trash can or you can use it for scraps while you're cooking, or uh, if you want to chill a bottle of wine, you can do that there as well. So your kitchen storage, if you've looked at 23 FBs in the past, uh, in the Flying Cloud or the International line, the storage is a little bit different in this model versus those. So you've got these nice drawers here that you don't get in those other models. And going back to the styling, it has kind of a nice two-tone look where they've got this slate color here versus the, the, uh, the elm color on the cabinets. Now, if you don't like these colors, the Globe Trotter does come in other color options as well. Um, if you prefer something with a darker wood, they also have a walnut option. Um, and they've also got some other fabric options too. So if you see the blue seats here in a few minutes and you don't love those, don't let that turn you off because we've got other options there too. So they, they take some of the inspiration from the, uh, the, the classic and they put it in the Globe Trotter. So one of the things you'll notice in the Globe Trotter is the cooktop. It's the same cooktop they put in the classic. Um, it's a really nice cooktop. It is um, easy to clean. Not a lot of stuff's going to fall down there where you have to dig it out. Um, and the convection microwave. So there is a gas oven option if you prefer that. Here at Airstream DFW, we tend to order ours with the convection microwave combo. So uh, basically one device that does two things. So it's, it's a real space saver here in, in a small RV. And now the refrigerator. You'll notice it's a little bit bigger here in the uh, the Globe Trotter 23FB versus uh, the the Flying Club or the or the International. 
So in those models, you get a smaller single door fridge, but in the Globetrotter 23FB, you get this nice double door fridge. It's 6.7 cubic foot. It is three way, so it does run off 12 volt gas as well as 110. So uh, lots of space in a, in a, a small, smaller trailer. Um, air conditioning. So all of the upper end airstreams, and by that I mean uh, really anything Caravel and above, have Airstream's quiet stream system. So um, it's, it's something they came out with a few years ago. It was really a big innovation in the Airstream world because it took that noisy, um, inefficient air conditioning system they used in the past and it went to something that's fully ducted through the roof. So reduces the sound by, by a ton, 70% uh, or so. And, and it makes the air distrib distribution a lot better even in something small like this. All thermostatically controlled. Um, it is a heat pump as well, so if you want to conserve propane on those cooler nights and you have uh, access to electricity, you can actually heat your trailer through your air conditioning unit on the top. The dinette is a little unique in this model. Um, it is a radius at the, at the sides, which makes it a little bit more comfortable to sit. A lot of people complain about the corners in a dinette are not real comfortable. With this, you've got full radius seats that are nice. Uh, you also have some movement in the table. So um, when getting in and out of the internet, of, in and out of the dinette, you've got the ability to kind of move the table around, position it differently if you want to, uh, move it forward and back. And this does make into another bed too. So if you want to travel with a couple extra people, they can sleep here as long as they are either small people or they really like each other. Um, they do upgrade the stereo system on the Globetrotter, and this is something new for 2020. They've gone to a Fusion touchscreen audio system. It has Apple CarPlay. It's got the, uh, the Android version of that, so really easy to connect the phone into it to uh, carry all, the, all your music with you. And you also get a Sony Blu-ray player that's standard as well. Again, you'll see the accent lighting here through the living area really gives it a really nice look and again those those curved cabinets all the way around so let's step back and take a look at the bedroom now now we're in the bedroom guys and you'll see twin beds that's really exciting a lot of people have been asking for years if they can get a 23 foot trailer with twin beds now it's available now it's only available in the Globetrotter but it is available uh, storage not short on storage either so you do have a, a full-size wardrobe here as well as a small wardrobe to the left so um, wardrobe for the, for, the, for the woman, wardrobe for the man. Twin beds, I mentioned that before. Globetrotter, they do upgrade the mattresses too. So you don't have that standard kind of spring mattress. You have Tuft & Needle brand um, latex mattresses. So very comfortable. Uh, if you like firm, if you like soft, it's kind of a nice in-between. It makes everybody happy. Pleated drapery through the, the living area, and, or through the bedroom area, excuse me. Uh, again, that's uh, part of the, the styling of, of the Globetrotter. Um, they really have gone for a, uh, again, the curved look, but also kind of that European look in here. Uh, nice storage cabinets above. Again, backlit. You got your mirrors in there as well, so um, can see and can see all that stuff down below. You don't have to worry about losing anything. Lots of lights in the bedroom, but you can also, if it's uh, too too uh, bright for you, you can actually control the the lighting. So you can actually drop the the, the lights down, and make them a little bit uh, dimmer if you want. Two attic fans in the 23 foot. So. You go someplace where the weather is nice and you really want to cycle a lot of air through the trailer, don't want to run the air conditioner, you got a fan here in the bedroom and a, and a fan in the, in the living room as well. USB plugs around the bed, um, regular 110 plugs around the bed, 1000 watt inverters so those plugs do run off of, of the battery. So again, if you have a CPAP machine or something that you need to run while you're off the grid, you've got the ability to do that. One TV in this model, it's here in the living room, or excuse me, here in the bedroom but it will swing around and um, you can look at it in the, in the living room if you want to. Well guys, that's it. 2020 Globetrotter 23FB. Again, one of my favorite new trailers. Twin beds, if you want a twin bed option at 23, we've got that available now. If you don't like this, that's okay. I've got uh, every other floor plan you could possibly want. We got them from 16 to 33 foot. Lots of options available. We're in a 45,000 square foot indoor showroom, so don't let the weather stop you from coming out. Thank you for watching our video and come see us at Airstream at DFW.